Uh, expectations are sky high for us. We return a whole bunch of really good players. And so uh, we expect to win a state championship. And if we do that, then we'll have to overachieve to do it. But every year we want to improve every week and we want to overachieve in the end. So those two go hand in hand. Our defense should definitely be a strength for us. We return uh, seven starters and eight or nine guys that played a lot. Uh, certainly the kicking game with Jerry Nunez, he's one of the top five kickers in the country and that's a huge bonus. And having two starting running backs that are three-year starters coming back, that's, that's really helpful too. So, uh, Having said all that, I think our team chemistry, their will to work, uh, their will to stress each other and stress themselves, I think that plays as big a role as anything. Well, uh, Wycliffe Fanor, uh, defensive end, has had a phenomenal start to the, to the fall, man. I mean, he's really worked hard in the offseason. He has been killing us. Uh, Terrell Posada at corner has done a really good job. Um, on the offensive line, uh, our center Davis Olson and um, right tackle Mr. Reedy, these are seniors that have been waiting their time and, and they're championing the bit to get out there and do it. Um, actually, all those guys. We returned Chris Tremblay, and he's a three year starter, tremendous player. Michael James Stamps at one guard, uh, Jerry Prutos at the other guard. I mean, we've got. We've got really good athletes there. It's just the issue is, can they recognize things fast enough to play fast within our skin? Start off with uh, St. Pete uh, Lakewood, and they're a regional finalist from last year, and have one of the fastest four by one teams in the state. Um, and then it doesn't get much easier. Delray Heritage, another state finalist last year, and um, we know that our local schools are, they gear up for us, and it's every week you have a huge target on you. And so, you know, we got to match that energy. Um, South Fort, late in the season, week nine, that'll be a tough matchup. And of course, we've got Island Coast as well. So they were in the regional finals too last year. So um, it's as challenging a schedule as there is in Southwest Florida.